Afternoon all. Now yesterday I uh, produced a rather impromptu video showing how you can listen to the pulse width modulation of the Morningstar SunGuard SG4 on a transistor radio. And overnight I thought, well wait a minute, we can also see what's going on using an oscilloscope. Now um, this is my Velman oscilloscope and what I like about this one for outdoor use is A it's battery powered and B it has a monochrome LCD which means that you can see the display really quite well in full sunlight. But the question is where am I going to connect the oscilloscope to this solar charge controller when the whole thing is epoxy potted encapsulated inside this plastic box. I mean we can't get to any of the internal circuitry. This is one of the things I like about the SG4. It's completely waterproof. So the only thing we can do is connect it to the external connections and there is a way to do that. So what I've done is I've connected the oscilloscope across the yellow and black wires um, which is the connections for the solar panel. And the reason this works is because when the solar charge controller turns the MOSFET on, it pulls this point here, the positive of the solar panel, down to the same potential as the battery, which will be about 13 volts. I don't have my meter on there at the moment. When the solar charge controller turns off, it will allow, it effectively disconnects the yellow and the red wires. They don't look very different colors at the moment because they've faded. But it disconnects these two, which allows the solar panel to rise back up to its natural open circuit voltage under the sun of about 20 volts. So we should see at this point, with the, with the MOSFET in here turning on and off, we should see a square wave here oscillating between about 13 volts and about 20 volts. Let's have a look. So I've turned the radio on so that we can hear the pulse and there's the trace on the scope. Now it's currently set to 8 volts per division um, I can't sync it at the moment because it's not transiting through the zero point. But you can see that um, in terms of divisions, it's uh, above one division. The lower part is nearly two divisions. That's so nearly 16 volts. So that's the 12 volt uh, lower voltage or the battery voltage. About 13 volts probably actually, or maybe even 14. And then the upper voltage is almost three divisions, so almost uh, three lots of eight, which is 24, so about 22 volts. So that's um, what we were expecting. It's transiting between about 14 and about 20 volts. Now let's um, lock the scope by changing the uh, AC-DC mode to AC. I'm going to put it in auto. And... Uh, there's a square wave that we can actually see. Now watch what happens when I connect and disconnect the charge controller to the solar panel. Now you can both see and hear the uh, pulse width changing. Oh, the scope's gone off. And now the sun's gone in. Right, connect up the controller. And you can see it hunting around for the right pulse width position. Disconnect. And it swings quite wildly, almost between the two extremes. Also, to my mind, this looks like it's analog. I'm not sure that that's a digital circuit at all. Now that's actually inverted, so the lower part of that trace is when the MOSFET is on because that's when the solar, van solar panel voltage is pulled down. So it's upside down, so if the lower part becomes bigger, it's turning on more. We've got some fairly good sun now, so it's at about 50%. Now, for the sake of uh, comparison, I've put the PWM5 in the same setup 
and uh, so we can see there that we've got not much on quite a lot of off so it's um, well, the PWM5 is running at a, a lower voltage so it's actually having to turn off more in order to keep that voltage more constant the sun's pretty constant now what's odd um, I worked hard on the RF emissions so there isn't so much but I was getting some weird <laughs> effects here there's the 122 Hertz but over here I was getting almost like a third tone not getting it now but then I discovered that the oscilloscope is putting out a high pitch whine something to do with this display it would seem and lots of calculations going on there and the PWM5 putting out that tone and over here PWM5 doesn't really put out much RFI but here I was getting a mixture of scope RFI and charge controller RFI anyway so let's have a look at the uh, PWM5's response to being connected and disconnected so it also is hunting around trying to find the right point to balance the battery voltage at the required voltage of well, it's around 13.5, 13.6 the phasing sound isn't quite so obvious I suppose it is just there but it may be noticeable that this is digitally controlled PWM because when it changes it seems to sort of do it without too much swinging without too much swinging wildly from one extent to the other I'm getting this third tone again now it's like the root tone and there's the third tone well, it's definitely coming from the scope <laughs> there you've got it it's like a chord it's like C and E anyway so there it is there's um, PWM visible on the scope now we've got lots of on then and very little off and in fact it's virtually gone out of PWM mode and that's because there's virtually no sun